Well, it's a loaded question. From a dancing standpoint, things are terrible. Okay. I'm a terrible dancer. And it's horrible to find that out on a TV show like where 30 million people watch it. Right. But life-wise, doing pretty good. Can't complain. So who have you been become like best friends with on the set now? Who, who's, I, your, who's your bros or your ladies? I honestly really like everybody. And I'm not, I know that sounds like the most BS, like, cliche answer. Right. I really like everybody. Like, they're so nice, man. They're so cool, easy to get along with. But if I had to pick one guy or gal that I'm going to be besties with after this whole thing's over, Chris Jericho. The guy's the awesome. He's, He's awesome, yeah. Now, uh, would you want to uh, ever wrestle Chris Jericho sure. in the future? Sure, sure. I mean... Uh, privately, or learn wrestling. Privately and nude, <laughs> but I'd like to. Yeah. <laughs> now, um, a lot of people were were surprised huh? when you were picked to be on the show. Yeah. How do you approach people who are like, oh, who the what? Um. Look, I mean, look, Lord knows. I mean, working in radio, uh, every year there's that guy or gal. There you go. Who's this guy or gal that's ended up on Dancing with the Stars? It's called Dancing with the Stars. Right. He or she's not a star. How dare they? Right. Now I'm that dude, and he's taking stride. And I, I mean, to all those people who don't know who I am, and and I believe me, I fully understand why. Um, just know that I'm not taking this for granted. It's an incredibly, you know, uh, it's an incredibly lucky deal for me. It's in, it's been awesome, and I'm not I'm going to soak up all the fun that comes along with it. And I'm sure there's a you know millions of people out there who would love to be a part of this show that think that think like who's this guy you know who, who just stumbled into it and uh, just for those people out there know that I'm not taking it for granted that I'm gonna I, I'm really uh, living it up and I, and I and I know full good and well that I'm far and away the least well-known dude that maybe has ever been on Dancing with the Stars but uh, you know how could I turn it down now, either way get further than Adam Carolla is that kind of like a notch on the love line belt it is for me because like I know there's no possibility I'll ever be the greatest Loveline host ever. Adam Carolla is far and away the greatest host of Loveline. He is the he is the Michael Jordan of Loveline. If I can be Derrick Rose, I'm fine with that. You know what I'm saying? If I can be a damn good host of Loveline, Derrick Rose is going to be the MVP. And, right. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> but even if Derrick Rose wins MVP this year, he'll he'll never be the guard for the Bulls. Right. And that's what I'm saying. That's a perfect analogy because Adam's always going to be the Loveline guy. So if I can be a better dancer than Adam. At least I have one thing going for me, right? And finally, should Dr. Drew do it next year? No, because, like, Dr. Drew has too much to lose. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, I have nothing to lose by going out there and being a crappy dancer. But and even if people don't like me as a person, who cares? Because it's not like I was known to begin with. Dr. Drew's already immensely popular, almost universally well-liked, uh, for good reason. And uh, so, you know, he can just sit at home and uh, and work on the other 45 television shows that he's involved with. But if someone gets voted off, he can be there to comfort them. Yeah. Like... Now, that, that, that actually is a good idea. And uh, Dr. Drew and I share agents. And uh, but Which, by the way, is maybe one of the reasons why I ended up on Dancing with the Stars, so that people could get closer to to Drew, um, and I, I, I've thrown that around. I was like, "You should be on staff, you know, for whoever it is that gets kicked <laughs> off right there, because that's earth-shattering yeah. when it happens, because yeah. it's so overwhelming. You're right there to come for them. Your shoulder to lean on. You're that clinical shoulder to lean on." Awesome. Well, thank you for taking the time. Appreciate no problem, it. No man. Thank you, success. dude. Appreciate Thanks, it. man. Hey.